everybody here we go that is the km7 hybrid all right obviously km7 means it's a seven string it is in celestial gray it's all shiny except for the back of the neck it is matte so you get a nice comfortable uh situation it is a mahogany body it's neck through design with a three-piece maple neck uh, the neck is kind of almost exactly the same as the Mach 2, if you ever played one of those. It's very comfortable, easy to play. You got Lumine side dots, thin C neck, 26 and a half inch scale length. You got aluminum offset markers, uh, ebony fretboard, 24 extra jumbo stainless steel frets, Ernie, comp uh, Ernie Ball compensated nut. Uh, your radius is 305 millimeter to 406 millimeter. You have a hip shop bridge. You have a Schecter uh, volume pot, Schecter three-way toggle switch. You have Fishman Fluence uh, one voiced pickups. They are the high gain voiced of the regular set. Uh, so you only have that one toggle, believe it or not. I actually prefer that over the other set. You have Schecter lockered and tuners, which is nothing wrong with those. They work fantastic. 
I don't think I'm going to change them out. I have the KM6 hybrid and I love it. As somebody who's had the Artist Series, the regular series, the Mach 1, the Mach 2, uh, these hybrids are perfect. And you save a little bit of money too and you get an, an amazing guitar. All right. I mean, an amazing guitar. On the back, you have a flip open thing for your battery. Uh, it's just a clean guitar. Super easy to play. It's comfortable as hell. I mean, there's a uh, this comes in two colors. You have this one here, which is celestial gray, which is like a sports car gray. And then you have the white with black binding and maple fretboard. So it's a little different than this guitar here, kind of a different flavor. So no matter really what kind of player you are, you can get something pretty cool. But really, at the end of the day, this guitar is amazing. I love my six string. I love this one here. I'm not a huge fan of Schechter guitars. They make some good guitars, but some, most of them I'm just eh. But I really like the Marrow set, man. Just can't beat these. Sorry about the shitty tones. I'll uh, I'll do some better tones when I get home on a real amp. I use the uh, Headrush MX-5 for here in the 18-wheeler, and everybody's like, dude, do a demo of something from the 18-wheeler. So here you go. I brought my shit from home so I can record using a vocal mic. I got my little, my little lapel right there. Yeah, so you get to hear me nice and clean. We had the direct out uh, right out of the MX-5. I plugged right straight into my little tiny baby mixer over here that I brought from the house, my Harbringer. <laughs> That's all I used, man. So hey, Welcome to the shittiest review you're going to see of a KM7 hybrid, all right? I'll do a better one from home. Uh, it's pretty much going to be a lot better playing and stuff. Here in the truck, I have to be careful so I don't hit, you know, shelving and all kinds of shit. It's a little tight space, but I know people dig it, so why not have a little fun, a little tongue-in-cheek shit. You know, at the end of the day, don't get no more real than this. There ain't no fuckery and shenanigans going on. I'm just smashing the record button and filming this shit on my cell phone. Yeah, wish I was making that up, but I'm not. All right. As always, you hear, keep music evil, bring metal to the children, and don't be a dick. Actually, I subscribe, motherfuckers. Ciao.